Hi friends, if you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be making a historical sewing kit. I am going on a trip very soon and I realized that I don't have a little portable sewing kit. Um, so we're gonna make one. I've heard similar things called a housewife or a hussif or a hussy. Those things all sound uh, a little bit too colonial gender roles for me. So I'm just gonna call this a historical sewing kit or just a sewing kit. I'm not really going for historical accuracy here, I just want something that is cute and functional. So I've created a pattern which you can download for free at the link in the description. I haven't used it yet, so if it goes poorly, uh, you probably won't see this, slash I will change the pattern before I release it. But this is what I've designed, it's about 4.5 inches wide and 14 and 3 quarters inches long. It has four sections and it kind of rolls up, so approximately approximately like this. It also comes with, you know, the pattern pieces of the pockets. We have a pocket, a pin cushion, a little scissors thing, and a needle book. You may want to redraft the scissors if you have a different pair of scissors than I do. Um, right now I'm going off of these little, like, stork scissors? I think it's a stork. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm going off of these scissors. If you have a different pair of scissors, you probably want to draft your own little scissors thing, you just kind of trace around them and add like a 3 eighths of an inch or whatever and then add your seam allowance and you're good. You may or may not remember most or all of these fabrics, uh, but my plan is to do a patchwork outside. I was thinking of doing embroidery, but I don't really have time to do embroidery, so I'm going to take a lot of little tiny scraps and patchwork them together for the outside of this sewing kit, and then I'm thinking for the inside I'm going to use this cotton lawn which is quite thin, but then most of it ends up getting covered up by the little pockets and the pincushion and the needlebook. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So, as far as this pattern, the way I've drawn it out is that this is the actual size of the finished pattern. So, as you can see, there's like a border. So, this edge is what's going to be covered in binding. So, this is the actual edge of the finished sewing kit, in theory, and then this is where the binding covers. So I'm probably going to cut it out a little bigger, at least a quarter of an inch bigger, and then end up trimming it down. Uh, but yeah, the idea is that these lines, the large dotted lines are the fold lines. So there's a fold line there. This one is also a fold line, but it's also the pocket edge, so it's a fold line. And then this is also a fold line. And yeah, that's it. And also there's going to be a ribbon tie here, or possibly just here. We'll figure it out. I'm wondering, because, okay, I have a lot of colors of scraps that don't necessarily go together, and I'm wondering if I can make it work by doing sort of like a gradient from light to dark. We'll see how it goes. So I've created this patchwork. I'm looking at it, and it's a little bit longer than my pattern. I really like the gradient that I made. It's a little bit of a mess, but I feel like it's fun and cute. So I think I want to add one more section to the bottom of this so that I can use my entire patchwork. I'm just gonna use the pin cushion, which is at the bottom anyways, and kind of lay it here as my extra bit. It's already relatively thick with all of these layers, as you can see, uh, which, eh, it's a little bulky. I mean, I could take out the interlining. Is that is that what I need to do? Do I need to not use an interlining? Cushion, pocket, scissors. Honestly, okay, this might be the way to go. I think I'm not gonna use the interlining. I'm just gonna use my patchwork and then the cotton lawn lining and then things will go on top of that. I am going to go ahead and baste all of my layers together.
So what I'm gonna do is basically split this pattern right here. I'm not actually gonna cut it, but what I'm doing is putting the pincushion at the end and then adding a pocket section between the scissors section and the pincushion section. The way these sections are, they do get slightly bigger as you go along, so I'm just gonna be kind of eyeballing it to add the other section in and I'm gonna cut out an extra pocket piece, which will be slightly too big, but I'm just gonna cut it using this template and then trim it down later. And yeah, so now my lining and my outer fabric are sewn together, as you can see. I wanted to do more, but I think this is enough and I'm a little short on time, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. There's some stitching, and then you can see these big stitches are my basting stitches. I'm also just gonna play around with some fabrics to see what colors look good and decide which scraps to use for which pockets. So let's do that. Pocket, scissors, pocket, and then I haven't found one yet for the needle book. I don't think I have any wool felt, so I'm probably just gonna go with a black synthetic felt, but we'll see. I sewed the end shut by machine and I went back and redid the first seam by hand because I realized that the thread color that I used was not something I wanted to show on the outside so I redid it with a felling stitch or a whip stitch and then I went in and did some little thread ties in the pin cushion that's the sound of my mom duct taping something um, but Anyways, I did these little thread ties in the pin cushion so that it would kind of hold everything in place more and the little pieces of fabric that I used to stuff it wouldn't move around too much. I trimmed down the edges and sewed around by machine just to make sure that everything was all together and to close off all of my pockets. And then I created a binding. I used a straight binding. I definitely should have used a bias binding, but I was feeling lazy. So I used a straight binding and sewed it on on one side by machine and did mitered corners and then turned it to the other side and finished it by hand.
So it is about six hours later and I finally finished this. I ended up adding an extra section because I created this really fun patchwork and I wanted to use the whole thing. So I added an extra pocket section and put it between the scissors and the pin cushion. So if I have time, I'll create another pattern for like the extended version of what I did. But otherwise, I basically just went off of the pattern that I originally created. I think I ended up trimming this, uh, the needle book down a little bit more. And I used a straight binding instead of a bias binding. And it was a little tricky because this curve is quite tight. Uh, I ended up pressing it and it kind of worked out. It's not gonna autofocus. Uh, but yeah, definitely would have been better with a bias binding. I'm pretty happy with it. I haven't actually used it yet, so we'll see how useful it is. But I am pretty excited to take this on the trip with me next week. If you did it separately and kind of attached everything by machine to the lining before you put the lining and the outer layer together, you could probably uh, cut the time down a lot. As it was, because I attached the lining and the patchwork and then did all of the things on top, I had to do a lot of it by hand, which I was planning on doing, but then I got a little mixed up as I was doing it. Here is, I have the pin cushion, which I have stocked with some pins. And then there's a little pocket in here. I have some little, uh, kind of homemade cardboard historical-ish thread bobbins. My grandfather has agreed to make me some actual nice wooden ones of these, uh, the flat historical bobbins, so I'm excited about that. But for now, I just have these little pieces of cut out cardboard and these are stocked. There's also some beeswax, a little chunk of beeswax, and some chalk, and I think that's it for this one. Then I have the scissors and the seam ripper. I don't use a seam ripper much. Not that I don't have to pick out seams, but I just tend to use either scissors or just do it with my fingers or even with a little razor blade. So the seam ripper is just kind of a placeholder. I would love to get a little awl. And then we have another pocket, which is also stocked with some thread. I have these modern plastic flat bobbins and then some more uh, cardboard ones with some cotton thread and some linen thread and some silk thread. Also have my Taylor's thimble, which if you wanna learn how to use a thimble, I have a whole video on hand sewing, which is probably already linked in the top right corner. I talked about a lot of just basic things about hand sewing that I've learned in my year of hand sewing and how to use a thimble and how to actually like push the needle through the fabric. Since I know that isn't super talked about, people kind of just assume that you either know or can figure it out. So I really broke that down for people who didn't learn how to sew from their family as a child like me, so. I mean, I learned a little bit, but like, historically, hand sewing technique would have been passed down either in school or in families, and it's kind of hard to learn if you're trying to like, be the first person in your family in years who does a lot of hand sewing. So that video is there, and then the last section is the needle book, which I've just stocked. So I have some small needles, I have like my size eight and size nine betweens from John James, and then I have some vintage needles. Uh, and then I have some longer needles on this one. I do find that this needle book kind of flaps up. I think I used a felt that was a little bit thick, uh, so I might potentially replace this felt in the future, uh, but for now I have a thick synthetic felt that I've just sewn on with a running stitch by hand. Also, don't forget to check out the collaboration between me and V on her channel, Snappy Dragon, which will come out the day after this video comes out. So I will link that when it does come out in the top right corner or put it as an end card or something. Um, and yeah, bye.